wrapped gifts on the table right now, but uh, do your gift bows look like this? If not, you probably need a little help. So Christian <laughs> is back now to show us how to tie one on so the gift looks pretty. Yeah. Uh, we're going to get some help as well. But, yeah. you know, you say a good bow can actually fix anything. A good bow can fix anything. Like, for example, <laughs> this is beautifully wrapped. Wow. But I don't know about this bow. No. <laughs> it's not good. It's not great. A for effort. Yeah. <laughs> C for execution. Yeah. yeah. C, I mean, C it minus. makes a huge difference, right? Like even it can save like even a bad oh rap job. Oh my gosh. That's actually the whole thing looks amazing. Hi ho <laughs> silver. <laughs> right? So look at the bow, that's gorgeous. The bow helps, right? Yes. I mean, as we learned earlier. Hey! Bad bows. <laughs> <laughs> We're under a time constraint. If I it's have all good, time. But we'll show you if you make a beautiful bow on it. Yes. Huge difference, right? Okay, so you're gonna show us how to do um, three different bows. Three different bows. Um, and then you're gonna you like make them for us. Yeah. Okay, so that's bow number one. Bow number one. It looks so super complicated. So we call this a layered bow. Okay. It's so you lovely. can test it from the side. It's kind of lovely. It's actually one of the easiest bows to make. Oh, is it? Yeah. So I always suggest for a layered bow, you want to use a grow grain ribbon. Yeah, I'm just getting this out I of like the way. I like it with the stripe, just because the stripe kind of like emphasizes the sort of linear. It works really best on these sort of boxes. Nice. So what you're going to do, a little bit of tape. Double-sided or do you not care? Double-sided for the other part. Okay. But this part you can just do regular. All right. Although I think that was double-sided. And then what's really easy with this guy is you basically are just going to fold over. This is why I like using um, so use double-sided tape boxes still versus uh, bags, yeah. gift bags, because it's nice. So you put it basically in sort of a half inch from the edge. Yeah. And you're gonna go over. Okay. And stick it. Yeah. Right, and then I'm gonna go half inch from this edge, over, and stick it. Oh. And then you I'm just gonna loop going again. Back and, forth. and I just keep going back and forth with my double-sided tape oh. and sticking it. Oh, that's way easier than it actually looks. Right? Way easier. Yeah. And then when you get to the end, we'll do this one a bit shorter. Mm -hmm. You do this guy, that might be too long actually. You're going to double sided tape on the inside and you kind of roll him under. Got it. This is probably should be a little bit shorter. He's yeah, be no, tall. I get it, I get it. But you can see. Yeah. So it's actually one of the easiest bows to make. It looks really complicated. Mm -hmm. It's also one of the easiest bows to then open a gift with. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Right? So yeah, especially if you do like a beautiful strike, it can be yeah. pretty. Right? Okay, so bow number two. Bow number two. So this is sort of the classic bow. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people usually have difficult time trying this. Yeah, because you're just, you're tying this one on. You're tying this one on. It's a bit trickier. Okay. What I always suggest for this type of bow is you want to either do a wired ribbon, which I used here. Oh. Where you can kind of like fix Play with it. your things that don't go so well. Yeah. Right? Or you want to use a double-sided satin. Okay. So double-sided satin literally just means both sides of the satin are shiny. Okay. And it just looks better that way. It looks better because then when you're going back and forth, you're not going to get a matte side showing, right? right. So quite okay. easy. It's a little bit more forgiving. A little bit more Let's forgiving. So you're way. just going to take a length. You can always trim it later. How do you know how long you need it, actually? I just always make it longer than it is. Okay. It's a good rule of thumb. Of course, these scissors are not happy today. So you're going to do your first knot. Tie it down tight okay. like that guy. So you can see. Do you need the extra finger or are you good? No, I'm good. Okay. And then you're actually going to take, and it's going to be reversed for you because I'm on this side. You want to take the bottom side first. Okay. So the bottom, you're going to make a loop over. Mm -hmm. Then this guy, you're going to make the loop. So we've got two loops. Yeah. You go over this guy and under. And tie it. And tie it. It's almost like, and then you're going to adjust your sort of bows. Yeah. It's almost like when you first teach kids how to tie their shoes. Yes. Right? Are you kidding? I still tie my shoes like that. And then the easy <laughs> trick for the ends. <laughs> The easy tricks for the ends is if you fold it this way. Yeah. And you want to cut from the fold to the outside. Yeah. Oh, so you have pretty ends. You have pretty ends. I mean, oh, very nice. Paper, scissor, but yeah. Okay, good. Bow number two. Bow number two. Easy, easy. So now this one. Um, very pretty. Very pretty. This is looking a little bit more complex. Yeah. That's gorgeous. Okay, how do we do this one? This one's pretty easy. Right. So. I'm gonna tell the special guests that are about to come out here to watch yes. carefully. Yeah, they're like, oh my gosh. So you're gonna take watch. a very long length. I pre-cut everybody's. Yeah. And just about how many loops you wanna do. Okay. So the first, you wanna do one loop like this guy. Yeah. And then you're gonna start going back and forth. Oh, 
And do you want it like, is there if a you rhyme make, or reason? Yeah. Or? So if you make them the same length, yeah. you're going to get a round bow. Mm -hmm. If you start extending them a little bit longer, yeah. you're going to get sort of an oval bow. Bow. Okay. So I like the round bow, but you want to go back and forth. Yeah. Lots and lots and it's lots so lush. and lots of times, right? Very nice. So very lush. Okay. And then the trick at the end, this guy's a little long right now, mm -hmm. is you're going to make a loop like this. This is going to be your tail. Okay. Okay. So a lot of people use florist wire for this. Mm hmm. I'm a bit more ghetto. I use zip ties. <laughs> okay. The nice thing with a zip tie is it actually will get it even tighter for you. Okay, good. Right? And it'll be hidden once you fluff it out. So, Very nice. Okay, so I want to get tight. I want to get Samantha, Shelley, and Liz in here. Oh. Give them some love. Come on, guys. Yeah. And stand here. Stand here. Don't be nervous. Okay, you're going to be fine. Christian is such a good teacher. You should be scared. So we're, why don't you get them to yeah. start so with start this? Let's start with this ribbon. Right? We're going to do the last bow. Guy. Well, I'm going to watch. <laughs> Here, you can watch. I'll show you with this guy. Okay. So that's the sort of move. So start with one loop at the top. Nice. Right? Like that guy. Easy, easy. And you're just going to go back and forth. I know you guys got back this. Back and forth. Yeah. Back and forth. A Look at the concentration. Wine, back and forth. Yeah. Right? As many as you want. She's like, why are you going so fast? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you got it. You got it. Good, good. Like yeah. you're neat and tidy with you're that. Very that's neat and tidy. very nice. Oh, see, that's good too. Here's the great thing about it, everyone. You do it the way your personality well, is, and, and however it comes out, it's fine. Exactly, exactly. And it actually, have to be perfect. this is one of the most forgiving bows there is out there. Yeah. So when you guys are near the end or wherever you want to stop, because you make it as big as you want, you do the big loop. Okay. And that's going to be your tail. And then you're going to use your zip tie, like I did earlier, and zip tie through it. Do they all have a zip tie? They all have zip ties. Okay. So when you get to there. So, so show them what to do with the zip tie. Here. Let me I'm help seeing you. a so bit of right confusion. Here. You want to go through where your hand was. Nice. And then tight. Good. Tight, tight, tight. Okay. Beautiful. That'll work. And then, oh, we didn't do your loop, but that's fine. Here, this is yours. <laughs> this is yours. So basically, your giant loop yes. that we had, yeah. we cut it open. Okay, she's oh, like, there's your loop. The loop. Oh, you had an extra. We didn't cut it. Here we go. We'll fix you. There you so go. So there's your loop, right? Yeah. And then what's forgivable about this guy is you literally twist. And the more loops you have, oh, wow. just twist and bend with the wire. So is the so is the ribbon, the ribbon is a this wire ribbon. This ribbon has a wire ribbon, ribbon and that's what so you, you need for it to really ribbon. work. And you literally just want to keep twisting and fluffing. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much. Twist and fluff. It's just, twist it's, and it's fluff. cute, right? I love it. It's like big and bold. And here we have, well, it's like it's an original. <laughs> <laughs> it's right? It's 